Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. We sincerely hope that you are having a wonderful day. If you enjoy today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video subject, what do cats do when you're not home? This topic talk about a wild card. You could have 10 different people and 10 different cats and wind up with 10 different responses to today's topic question. The ultimate mixed bag. So much of what your cat does and doesn't do when you're away depends on your relationship with your pet, your cat's very own personality, and certainly your home environment. So much of what your cat will do when you're gone depends on your pet's curiosity and what they are allowed to do. And by allowed, I mean general options. For example, your cat won't be able to shred toilet paper while you're away if the bathroom door is closed. So, on that front, what a cat does and does not do often depends on how many safeguards that you have in play. Of course, when you think of this topic and ones that are similar, you probably think of the old stereotypes. Cats shredding up toilet paper, as I mentioned. Cats eating slippers and vomiting in slippers in some cases, cats tearing up your sofa, destroying pillows, tearing up their very own toys, becoming a bit too curious about other pets in the home, and just generally making a downright mess, climbing up on a bookshelf, knocking everything over, jumping up on the kitchen counter, knocking everything over, basically doing everything they would never be able to do if someone was maintaining a watchful eye. Sort of like children, am I right? For some reason, whenever I think of a cat at home alone, I think of the film Home Alone, of course. I also think about school just a bit. Remember when you were a kid and had that strict teacher that you didn't care for too much? And also, remember the reaction of the entire class when that teacher was out for a day and had a pretty laid-back and cool substitute. The entire atmosphere was different. You could get away with a lot of stuff that would never fly otherwise. Things you wouldn't even dream of trying. So, what cats do when you're not home is not too much unlike what a child would do without proper supervision or what a class would do without that strict teacher. And while every situation is different, the absence of authority can make giving in to temptation so much easier. Before we close things out for today's presentation, let's talk about a few safeguards, ways to secure your home when you are away. Let's start with a spacious cage or a pen. And before I explain, no, I'm not talking about a cat carrier. I'm talking about a large pen, something built for a large dog. If the space is complete with fresh food, fresh water, familiar bedding, and a litter tray, your cat will be safe and secure. If you're going away for just a couple of hours, there's nothing wrong with using a pen. This is great for kittens and younger felines. A small cat in a cage that's built for a massive dog? Hey, that's like an apartment. Another option is a cat room. An area just for your feline or felines. A space that is meant for your pet and free of hazards and any of your personal items. Again, this is good for a short stay. If you're out of the house for just a few hours, place your pet in the cat room. As long as all of their essential needs are met, they'll be just fine. And finally, there's the option of a personal sitter or a pet boarding facility. This is good if you plan on being gone for several days. Do you have a dear friend or family member that would be willing to watch your pet? If so, this is a wonderful option, especially if the person already knows the cat. 
As for a boarding facility, this is essentially a hotel for pets. Just a brief pause in the action and a pit stop until you return. Your home will be secure and your pet will be in good hands with proper accommodations and under the watch of trained professionals. The ball is now in your court. It's story time. Have you ever gone away only to return to a house of horrors? Did your cat attempt to give your living room a full makeover? Or is your cat just as cool as a summer breeze? You could go away for hours and return to your pet just relaxing on the sofa without a care in the world. Here again, so much depends on your cat's personality, the overall relationship that you have with your pet and your pet has with you, and the layout and safeguards within your home. For every cat that's eager to eat your new Air Jordans and ruin your kitchen table, there's another cat that's more than happy to enjoy the peace and quiet while you are away. They're probably binge-watching senior cat wellness videos until you return. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.